Playing PC and console games on mobile has been a, an interesting experience so far with a lot of games developing specific mobile apps like Fortnite, like Call of Duty, like PUBG, but then some of those developers getting into fights with Apple and then getting removed from the App Store like Fortnite. So we haven't seen Fortnite on an iPhone in quite a little bit, but that is changing with uh, Epic bringing Fortnite to NVIDIA GeForce Now, so you will be able to stream uh, Fortnite on an iPhone or an iPad through a web browser. But if you do have a gaming PC with an NVIDIA graphics card, you have another option if you'd like to play your PC games on mobile, and that is through an app called Moonlight. So Moonlight uses NVIDIA Shield or NVIDIA Game Streaming uh, inside of GeForce Now, which is pretty much what NVIDIA uses to enable you to stream games from a PC to an NVIDIA Shield, but now you're able to stream games from your PC to your iPhone, iPad, Android, whatever it is that you wanna stream those games to. And what's really neat about Moonlight is all of the different controls and settings that you have over the game resolution and the game frame rate. So you can go anywhere from 720p, 1080p, up to 4K resolution, as well as actually hitting 120 FPS on some of the newer devices like the iPhone 13 Pro or iPad with M1. All of those devices go up to 120 FPS and Moonlight is able to take full advantage of those frame rates on those devices and actually stream games like Fortnite at 120 FPS on an iPhone. So let's jump into this video so I can show you guys exactly how to set everything up and how it feels to finally be able to play Fortnite on an iPhone again. So first we're gonna open NVIDIA GeForce Experience and this will bring us to just the overall settings page. And what you wanna make sure is that game stream is ready and available on your NVIDIA uh, device. So as long as your PC says ready under game stream, everything from here on out should work. You're gonna to wanna to go to the shield tab and make sure the game stream checkbox is enabled. And from there, you can actually add games. So once you first launch Moonlight, you'll see exactly what NVIDIA brings in on its own, but any games that it wasn't able to bring in, you're able to then add and customize kind of how that game will look. So you just have to find the launcher of the game and then it will be there. So now when we open up Moonlight on our iPhone, uh, here we have all of our games. So Apex, Cyberpunk, and Fortnite were already there, and I added Halo and Warzone. And as you can see, we have all of these resolution and frame rate and other game optimizing settings over on the left. So we can go from 30, uh, 360p all the way up to 4K and frame rate from 30 FPS to 120. I'm just going to start on 60 FPS just so that we can get a feel for what 60 FPS feels like on the iPhone and then transition up to 120 FPS. But you have a lot of optimization settings here that you can really go through and tune in exactly how the game feels on your iPhone or other uh, mobile device. So let's launch Halo Infinite and, and really get started in a game that we should get really good graphics as well as at least 120 FPS to see how the gameplay feels. And all of this is being streamed directly from my iPhone, so I'm just recording on the iPhone and eventually we'll switch over and actually take a look at the iPhone and the PC kind of side by side so you guys can see exactly how quick everything is in the response time and the input lag and all that very seamless trans uh, transferring over all of this data from my PC over my Wi-Fi network to my iPhone now of course a lot of this will defend depend on your internal Wi-Fi network and yes, this can only be used inside of your home on your network. So you're only going to be able to play these games on your mobile device in your home. And that still gives you a lot of freedom to kind of move around, have your PC in your office or your, or your gaming room, leave it there, and then be able to kind of still play all of your games anywhere else in your home. So we'll, we'll kick it off with some Halo Infinite. And this is starting off at 60 FPS at 1080p resolution. I didn't feel a need to go up to 4K mainly because 1080p on a device as small as a phone should be plenty of resolution to really see what's going on. And as you can see, the input lag and everything is super smooth, pretty much exactly in tune with what's going on on the PC is exactly what's being displayed on our iPhone.
And now I'm just going to switch over back to Moonlight while this game is still going on. And we're going to switch over to 120 FPS just to get a feel for the difference in frame rate. And all I have to do is just jump back, resume app, and it is right back where we left off. And it definitely does feel smoother on the iPhone at 120 FPS. Now we didn't uh, do too well in that round, but let's continue playing the game now at 120 FPS and see how everything uh, continues to feel on an iPhone and there's very little like stuttering or anything like that that you would maybe expect from playing or streaming a, a game over your network but here there's really nothing and, and the 120 FPS feels really really smooth I'm definitely not used to controller playing on PC but it still gives you the ability to move around your home like I mentioned and be able to still play your PC games So not the greatest ending to our Halo Infinite experience, but let's jump over to another game, and this time we will launch some Fortnite. And as you can see, as soon as we hit start Fortnite on our uh, Moonlight app, it launches the game on our PC, and from there, it's really, really seamless. As soon as it launches on PC, it shows up on the iPhone, and the controller, which we're using a Backbone 1, is instantly recognized, and we're able to control the game through our iPhone over a controller instead of using touch inputs on the device itself. And you could do the same thing on an iPad and connect, you know, a Bluetooth, either Xbox controller or PlayStation controller, and be able to use either of those controllers on a device like an iPad so you have a bigger screen to play on and still be able to play your games. But now we're just going to show how easy it is to just move around the house and still be able to play your game. So we'll go all the way upstairs uh, and see if we're still getting good enough connection to play at 120 FPS on our iPhone and so far so good it's still looking pretty smooth on the iPhone sorry for it being a little bit blurry but as you can see the game is running super smoothly and we're still getting 120 FPS I mean the game's running at 200 FPS on our 3080 Ti and streaming it over to the iPhone really we're just network dependent so as long as the network can handle the amount of data transfer you should still see really good frames So definitely not my greatest showing on controller. Uh, like I said, it's been a little while to play on controller, and it definitely gets uh, it takes a little time to get used to kind of the input sensitivity of this Backbone One. But the app, the Backbone One is an awesome device. I'll put a, a little link up in the video to that video, so you guys can check that out if you want to take a look at getting a controller that is as seamless as the Backbone One for your iPhone. Um, but overall, this was a super smooth and super easy experience playing on the Moonlight app on iPhone, streaming directly from NVIDIA GeForce Now through NVIDIA GameStream. Uh, there's very similar apps with Steam Link and things like that, but this, the seamlessness of this and the ability to play at 120 FPS is definitely a really nice addition to gaming on mobile. So although this is, of course, limited to your home, it's still nice to play some mobile games, specifically Fortnite. So if you guys enjoyed the video, Definitely give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave those down below. And if you haven't already, get subscribed to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.